Hi and welcome to Live Tried and Tested with me, Irina, your host. We talk all things life, love and share good vibes over a cup of coffee or two. And I hope you will enjoy and leave this little coffee date with a positive attitude and some food for thought. Let's begin, shall we? Hi there, how are you today? I hope you are really well and you're having a lovely week so far. We are on the last stretch of January. How crazy is that? I literally cannot believe how quickly time flies by. It literally feels like I blinked and January is done and gone. But still, I hope you've had a productive and positive month so far and feel excited about what this year has in store for you. I know many of us begin the year with lots of resolutions that we want to achieve by the end of the year, we set goals and create plans, and many times, as I've said in previous episodes, New Year's resolutions don't always end up seeing the light of day and they just remain scribbled down somewhere in a diary or you tend to simply forget about them by the end of next year and so on. In fact, the very first episode, which was all about realistic resolutions and how to actually keep them, is still the most listened to episode, so that probably goes to show that we all struggle with keeping them. So I thought what a better time to revisit this subject than now when we've got 11 months ahead to nail our goals. Today we're going to talk about how self-discipline and consistency can be the key to persistent motivation and how you can use them to achieve anything you put your mind to. And when I say anything, I really mean anything. Grab something nice to drink and let's get into it. According to the University of Scranton, 92% of people who set New Year's resolutions never actually achieve them. Now that's a huge percentage, but I totally get it because as that 92%, I've also struggled to somehow get my goals to the finish line in the past. I would usually just push myself for a while and work towards those goals and then suddenly lose motivation. And it seemed like there was nothing I could do to bring myself to be fueled by motivation again and pick up where I'd left off. So I would just shelf that goal until the next time I would get a burst of motivation and often it wouldn't even happen. I had this long list of goals that I wanted to achieve and get to a point where they would become my reality and part of my routine and quick, not in time, if possible at a snap of a finger. So looking at that long list of goals that I would want to implement would put so much pressure on myself and from the very beginning I would start working towards these targets exhausted by the thought of how many things I have to achieve and change. Plus when you throw striving for perfection in there along with lack of accountability, you've got the perfect recipe for failure. I do believe failure helps you grow out of your comfort zone, if you allow it, of course, because otherwise you can also get stuck in that low mind frame. Over time and through climbing my personal mountains, being faced with challenges, I've come to the realization that striving for perfection does absolutely nothing more than to hold you back and hold you back from living the life you desire. For example, in the past, if I couldn't do something to my level and standard of perfection, I would usually beat myself down over it, think it was wasn't good enough or I wouldn't even try to do it in the first place because I didn't see a point in doing something if the result wasn't going to be perfect. And you can imagine that by doing so I missed out on so many things that I wanted to experience or to try because I let that fear of failure affect me. So in my case, striving for perfection did nothing more than to hold me back. Have you ever had those moments when it's close to impossible to gather that motivation and reach for your goals? Well, you're definitely not alone and I get you. I'm going to share with you what has been working for me to get me from goals written on paper to embodying them and reaping the rewards and what I believe to be the key to persistent motivation that doesn't leave you when things get hard or when things don't go according to plan. And that is self-discipline and consistency. But first, let's just look at the basics. What is motivation? In an article on verywellmind.com, and I've linked resources in the show notes if you want to dig a little deeper after listening. So on verywellmind.com, they say that motivation is the process that initiates, guides, and maintains goal-oriented behaviors. It is what causes you to act. Then mindtools.com say that self-discipline is the ability to push yourself forward, stay motivated, and take action regardless of how you're feeling physically or emotionally. And at a simple Google search, we find that consistency is the quality of always behaving or performing in a similar way. So I was thinking, 
and please do stay with me on this one because it's going to be a roller coaster but if motivation is the process that ignites the goal-oriented behavior and self-discipline is what helps you to push forward no matter what with consistency being the quality of acting in a similar way couldn't we just use self-discipline and consistency to prolong motivation well i've tried and tested this method of going about setting your goals and achieving them and how i view things now is that it's more important that you take your time take things step by step when trying to achieve goals instead of focusing on the end result as humans we have this tendency to rush through life and always think about the future and the next thing we want or need or have to accomplish but why rush rushing often overshadows the beauty of life and we lose so many things out of sight and instead we should try to focus on doing what we can in the present moment who says that you have to achieve your targets in X amount of time? Now really, you can create your own time frame in which you can achieve that thing you so want to tick off your list. And you will achieve it, but in time. Through self-discipline and consistency, I can assure you that you can achieve anything you put your mind to. But I repeat, in time. Everything takes time and it's perfectly okay. I'm going to give you the example that changed my view on motivation completely. I have always wanted to lead a healthy lifestyle, perform daily movement and get to that end goal of being lean and having all my muscles defined. It's a personal goal that I've been struggling with for the longest time as in the past I've dealt with weight loss and body image issues and I can get to that in another episode because I know it's something that many people struggle with. I used to put my body through many different diets and got to a point where when looking at food I would rather see calories than the nutritional value so I was in a very unhealthy mindset. I would exercise on and off, usually go off track, have cheat meals and it became this vicious cycle where I thought I was doing the right thing when in reality I was far from it and approaching the situation with poor intention. And so when I realized that it was very unhealthy what I was doing, I decided to isolate this goal I had and find the most effective way to actually achieve it, in a healthy way of course. There was a switch in my mindset and I knew that I had to change my old approach because it was leading me absolutely nowhere and instead of only focusing on the end result, I decided to focus on the small steps that would eventually get me to the finish line. So in this case I started focusing on mindful eating and what I mean by this is I started to become more present when sitting down to eat breakfast, lunch and dinner and I would pay attention to what I consumed as well. And then I implemented intermittent eating and I don't want to call it intermittent fasting because sometimes I would have my morning coffee and I would add a splash of milk in there, almond or coconut, but still it had a couple calories so I don't want to call it intermittent fasting, instead I'm calling it intermittent intermittent eating but the important part is that I wouldn't put any pressure to eat only organic foods for example and super clean all the time I would give myself permission to create a healthy lifestyle then I started exercising at home then going to the gym a couple times a week but again with no pressure of going every day or losing weight fast I was giving myself time to take these steps to achieve my goal but there had been many occasions where I wouldn't feel like going to the gym, especially after work when I was feeling tired and energetically drained. And that's when I realized that I had to count on self-discipline and consistency and not on motivation. So I called them in and something came over me that I just got up from the chair, started getting dressed, prepping my gym bag and off I went. I didn't leave any time to think about whether I should go or not because going to the gym was one of the steps that would lead me to my end goal so I just did it. I think that doing it is just a key mindset when wanting to achieve targets. Less thought and more action. And through self-discipline and consistency I managed to constantly fuel my motivation too and to keep on going, constantly improve and slowly and steadily achieve those targets. And you have to want that thing so badly as well to be ready to do all of these things that will get you there even when you're not feeling like doing them. 
consistency has proven to stick by me every day even when motivation was popping by just once a week or twice a week saying hi and then leaving <laughs> as fast as it came and that's why now i'm all about consistency over motivation as well as progress over perfection don't get consumed by the fight to strive for perfection trust me it will lead you nowhere instead take another route just do bit by bit and day by day even if today you're not doing as much as yesterday you're still one step further to achieving your goal and it's better than not doing anything at all okay but you might be wondering how do you discipline yourself i believe that the answer is hidden in your daily habits habits can make us or break us and we all know this one of the most difficult things that we have to do in this life is to learn how to tame bad habits and i put bad in air quotes because i'm referring more so to habits and ways of going through life that ultimately lead you nowhere so as a first step Take a good look at your current habits and rituals. If you analyze them and find some that are holding you back or unhealthy physically or mentally, just replace them. It's never too late. Holding yourself accountable is equally important. When you slip off your path or when you feel like giving up, you have to hold yourself accountable because that is what is going to put you back on track. Also, you have to heal your fears and get rid of distractions. The fear of failure might have a tight hold on your hopes and dreams. It did on mine and you have to overcome it in order to break free and achieve your goals and ultimately just live the life that you want. And lastly, work hard and be persistent and also be easy on yourself. If you haven't listened to the previous episode, it's all about being your own best friend or your worst critic and it's always our choice how we decide to treat ourselves and if if we don't treat ourselves good and we don't take care of ourselves then who will this applies to the other relationships as well you have to take care of yourself first to be able to take care of someone else or to give your all into your relationship or your career so ensure that you also are easy on yourself now how can you use consistency to your advantage First of all, when you feel inspired and motivated to set a new goal, sit down and get really clear on your intentions. Write exactly what you wish to achieve and I'd say even envision what the end result would look like and how it would feel to get to that finish line because I believe that this is going to give you a much clearer picture of what you actually want to achieve. Then once you've got your vision and you've outlined the goal in a broader sense, it's time to create a step-by-step plan with the things that will eventually help you get to the finish line. Break down each key step you can take in order to achieve your goal and be realistic and give yourself time to accomplish it. It's one of the most important steps because otherwise you'll just end up beating yourself up for not achieving something that probably wasn't even achievable in the first place. Everything takes time and there's no set time frame where you have to do anything or achieve something you just have to go at your own pace that initial motivation that drove you to actually begin working on your goal will probably go away at one point and that is why you have to practice self-discipline from the start and create a habit of staying consistent i believe is the most reliable way to actually accomplish what you want Try to apply this method to all aspects of life, like are you studying for an important exam, then read a chapter today or a couple pages even if you don't feel like it. If you are looking for jobs, don't just end up scrolling on LinkedIn and other apps. Apply to some, shoot your shot, try your luck, you never know what will happen. Or are you trying to become more active? Then do a home workout, even when you're not feeling like going to the gym, or take a walk, do some yoga, or even simply do some stretches, just move your body for a bit. It's those small steps that will build over time and create a healthy habit. Don't procrastinate or wait for motivation to hit because the hard truth is, sometimes motivation never even comes. And so why waste precious time of your life waiting around for motivation to find you? Instead, befriend consistency and it will lift you up to achieve all your targets and your biggest dreams. I hope this episode helped you even in the tiniest bit and you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for spending this time with me. Don't forget to catch up on previous episodes where we chat about the fear of failure and how to overcome it, plus the importance of taking breaks. Find me on Instagram and get in touch at Irina Jakob, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!